Aperti just received new features, upgrade to its performance and also much needed update to the overall performance. The latest update with the number 1.1 also comes with the support to the new cameras and some important bug fixes. So if you are like me and you are interested in what comes in this update, then we are starting right now. Okay, so moving into Aperti, first let's see how you can update your application. Now, if you also using Luminar Neo, you will be familiar with the process and the way it works when you open your application, you should be prompt with the update message. After that, you can just follow it, install the update and continue. If this doesn't happen, then there is another way you can do this. And it doesn't really matter if you are in the project module or the editing module. You need to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, click on the Aperti logo and here click on check for updates. Once you do that, that will open a new window, which will notify you if there is update available for you and if you can install it now. For me, as you can see, I already updated it. So I have the version 1.1. However, if you see the offer to install the update, just follow it step by step. And once you're ready, we can then continue. Now talking about the update, first let's have a look at the upgrades on the user interface. Starting from the top of the screen, where previously we were able to see the ISO, the lens, the f-stop and also the shutter speed. Now, additionally, we can also see the resolution of the image. If you're looking for more information, you can navigate towards the right side of your screen and at the bottom, you will see the eye icon. Click on it and that will open a new window. And here you can see even more information. Name of the file, when it was captured, the camera and lens you used and other information. So let's close that and continue. Now let's switch to, for example, this image. And what we're gonna do, it's a raw file, it's not edited. We're just gonna very quickly jump into the presets where, as you can see, I have a number of presets. We actually learn how to create in our Aperti Masterclass. And for this image, let's go ahead and select the retouch with makeup. Now it's gonna take a few seconds and it will apply the edit to the image. It will do the basic development and also apply the makeup and retouching. Now, looking at our toolbar, you can notice that some of the sets of tools now have a blue dot in front of them. And this basically letting us know that we have made edit in this set of tools. And this help us to save time by going in and seeing if I have used one of these tools. So now, for example, if I'm gonna go into the creative tools and let's say that I will apply an LUT to this. So let's do that, open an LUT, Choose a LUT from the list. Let's just use one of the ones which is already here, like the Long Beach, and apply it. Once I close it, you can see that you use this tool because it has the reset button and also the eye icon to see the before and after. And now when you close the toolbar, you are also able to see that you use one of the tools in this section with this little blue dot next to it. Now, when it comes to the interface upgrade, there are other small upgrades that are not as noticeable and you will only notice them when you're going to use the application over the time. Now, when it comes to performance update, you will notice that synchronizing the edits and copy and pasting the edits is much faster. And also the preview of the edit is much faster, especially when you apply a number of edits. Now, by default, it's set to this faster rendering and sometimes you will notice that the preview will be a little bit lower quality. If you have a faster computer or you're looking for the better quality, what you can do, you can navigate to the top left corner of your screen, click on the little upper T icon and select settings. In the settings window, now on the top, we have the low resolution previews option. Now, by default, it's switched on and following the text, it basically enable low resolution image previews, basically to speed up the whole process. However, one more time, if you have a faster computer or the quality of the image is important for you and you don't mind the waiting, then you can switch it off here, click on the off and continue from here. When it comes to new camera support, the users of Canon, Leica, Sony, 
and Nikon can follow the link in the description of this video and find out if their cameras are now supported with the latest release of this application. And finally, it's time to look at the new feature here in Aperti, and that's the body skin tool. Looking back at our example here, we have already edited. It has a lovely retouching on the face and also basic raw development. Now, looking at the face and looking at the body, you can see that it doesn't necessarily match. There is much more smoothing on the face. Well, so what we can do, we can now very easily access the retouching panel. And here at the bottom, we now have the body skin tool. Once we open it, there are two simple options here, body skin smoothing and details. Now it works very similar to, for example, the skin blemishes or the face skin at the top, like the skin smoothing and details. What you do, you basically just increase the slider and then the application go ahead, scans the image and create the mask for the body. Now, of course, that 77 is way too strong. However, you can see how it smooths the body. Now you can adjust it so you can bring it down to make it a little bit more natural. And you can also recover some of the details using the details slider. So let's say somewhere around 70. Now, important information for this specific tool is that this tool affects the entire image. So all the people in it. Regardless, if you use the people section, you can only apply it to all people or no one. This may be changed in the future. However, for the time being, that's how it works. Now, let's have a look at quick before and after. And I think it works like a magic. So that's the new feature and that's the new editing possibility in Aperti. And finally, finishing with even more Aperti news, we just released our brand new Aperti Masterclass. It includes 27 classes in 4K quality and over six and a half or seven hours of content. Now it will help you to master all the tools in this application. And also it will allow you to enhance and improve your portrait editing workflow. Now, if you're interested, you can find out more about it by following the link in the description. And on top of it, if you do that quite quickly, you will get the chance to save $30 with our release discount. By the way, if you're still interested in even more content about Aperti, we have a number of tutorials already available on our YouTube channel, and you can continue watching them right now.